Hey everyone, and this is part two of the video. So if you want to see how we made all these, or how I made all these marbled shapes and goodness, then go over to part one, it'll be linked down below, and I'll show you how I made the marbled paper and goodness. So I'm just going to start by using the August kits from Kitaholics and just add all this goodness on and see what we can make in terms of DIY embellishments. So this first one here, I've got a bit of the hmm, gold tool, a label, and the word besties. And look how simple it is. Add in some staples, add in a bit of glue just so that it is fully stuck underneath once I fight with it, oh, of course. <laughs> and that just is perfect. Just going to cut it. I did fold over the tool, so there's two layers of it. So one layer I wanted a bit longer than the other layer. I'm just going to use my black pen here to add a dotted line border all around the circle. And that is that embellishment. That's how simple it is. So I just started with a circle that was cut from the marbling paper. Added two pieces of paper and a tool. And we're done. Look at that. So moving along to the next one. The good thing is that this kit was full of uh, so much that it's very easy to, to find stuff to add and, and work with. So starting with that sticker that says chill, I'm just going through to see what else I can what I can add and, and how I like to how it will look appealing to myself. I'm just trying to get some of this. So there's a chipboard heart and that's just so it, I don't even know why I'm doing a voiceover really. The DIY embellishments are very easy in terms of watching. You can see what I'm doing. And it um, sort of just probably is a bit monotonous to hear me talking. But I find um, for myself I would prefer a voiceover than music because I'd rather be able to hear what someone's doing rather than um, the music because often I'm not fully 100% just watching the video sometimes well, most of the time I am either scrapbooking or doing something else to sometimes cooking dinner or you know cleaning the kitchen or whatever so it's nice to to hear the process and then just be looking at it at the screen for what's going on so just gonna add this tiny word every day every day chill I had my tiny attach a staple I think I was using, well, one, it's nice to use a tiny touch. The staples look really lovely. But also because I just recently brought some staples for it, there was months where I couldn't use my tiny attacher and so really, really wanted to. So I am using it a lot now. I've just had this idea to add some circles to this tag and I needed some smaller ones. So I just grabbed a piece of the marbled paper off cuts out of the bin there that sits next to me. Luckily it's just my scrapbooking bin so didn't ruin the paper at all. So I'm just going to position the circles on after I add a little hole for the to make the tag to have the string in it. Sometimes that hole punch works really well and sometimes I think some you know part of the last piece of paper that I cut gets stuck. Oh yeah. So it's really fun. Oh, sorry, yawning. It's really fun to add this marbled pink paper on top of this blue and green marbled tag. It works so well. And the, like I said, when I was making the marbled paper, that because I used the paints from the Vicky Budin collection in one of the packets, they go together so well that it, I didn't have to think about what colours I was putting in and how I was doing it. They just coordinate without a problem. So I'm just going to outline these circles with a dotted line. That way they just stand out even more as their own unique rather than to blend into the background. And that one's a full border. And this one's another dotted border. And then we just could have left it like that because then you could add more um, to it when you put it on the layout, when you use it make it more specific to the layout but I also wanted to add a few 
few things here so that the process is that it's already done. As soon as you lay it on, you stick it onto your layout with a photo. You don't have to do much, if anything at all, to it. Young users Wild at Heart word sticker from the sheet. And I do have to outline the word heart because it's pink and it's going on top of the marbled pink. But it's okay because outlining it means it blend, it um, coordinates with the wild at words of the phrase, the title. And that's that tag done. It was that simple. Just add in some circles, a title, some twine and some doodly writing, borders, and that's it. Fiddle with your letters, of course, because why else would you put a title down if you're not going to fiddle with the lettering, the positioning of them? I was debating whether I wanted a doily behind it, but I do not need that at all. Oh, that's right. So I figured, I keep losing my tape in this process, I figured it would be nice to have this pattern, This it looks like wood veneer, like it looks like wood pattern paper, but actually it's sewn, like there's thread that is sewn in a pattern to make this layout, this pattern paper style, the background, and I just sort of add a nice little border to this tag so that it framed it up and it made it stand out even more than it already was. So I had to cut off the string, add some new string, but that is okay. I added the same string, I just cut it shorter to get rid of the knot, and then I did a different, I was going to do it with that, but then I, I really liked the way I had it tied before. So I cut a new piece. I don't know, twine, luckily it comes in really long lengths, because I think sometimes you're like, oh, did I need to waste that? What did I do with that piece? Why did I cut it so long and then have to trim it down? Like it just <laughs> is one of those one of those supplies, I guess. So there we go. So that is done. I thought it was done. What am I doing? Oh, that's right. Because of the pattern paper background, the border, it actually needed the normal colored twine rather than the black and white. It was just too much. Just going to staple that there just for about a bit of interest and call it a day, even though I think I've said that like four times on that one tag. <laughs> it's really fun to create on punch circles. I haven't created DIY embellishments on punch circles before. Usually it's like tags and labels and things that were in the collection that are my basis for the DIY embellishments, but it was nice to have some different shapes this time. So. Um, maybe I need to do that a bit more often. So add in this sticker that says wonderful with a heart and you know a lot of these DIY embellishments that are used this marbling paper today are pretty simple but they're very striking to consider that um, you know you're just putting one or two things on and it just looks like you've spent a lot of time layering and and putting things together is just a really fun way to create because then once you do once um one this is the fun process a couple of a couple of hours or an hour or so to create but then two when you put it on the layout you also feel then really productive and feel that your layout is so nice because you've spent all this time making the DIY embellishment previously but when you put it on the layout it goes so quick and it looks so effective so I actually thought that wonderful needed a, a blank white border, so I pulled it off and then re like added the white border with some pattern print and paper, ugh, printer paper, and then I'm just sticking it all back on. I didn't line it up very well and had to redraw some of the doodly border that was covered before, but I didn't cover it this time. That's okay. You can't tell. So what's next? What are we going to do next? Hmm, I must have had my video, my photo, my phone so close to the to the table this day. It doesn't seem like I have much space to work with, which is crazy because the way I've cleaned and organised my craft room, I do actually have a fair bit of space, which is lovely. It's what we all want, isn't it? 
except for when we mess it up and we have to clean it a bigger mess than normal. <laughs> so just trying to see if there's anything I need to layer behind it, but come soon come to the conclusion that it doesn't need anything else at all. So what are we going to do? I love this ephemera piece. I loved it so much that I didn't even use it. It's still in my little pile of goodness that's left over. I couldn't bring myself to use it. There is another one of those birds in the layout that I did cut and use in the in the first DIY embellishments, but that piece is just has to be on the right layout, I think, or the right project life spread. But just using playing around with some tags and some labels and some tickets, try to see if that's how I want to add some dimension and borders to the back. Then I'm looking at this chipboard, oh yeah, banner. And it's just a matter of sometimes it comes so quickly and other times you have to fiddle around with, with pieces like I did here. So then I realised this real life chipboard and then that is where my embellishment's going to head. And then I'm going to use this um, glassine bag that the die-cutted ephemera came in. Woo! And I'm going to cut that around the punch circle, even though it doesn't look like it yet. <laughs> so that real-life chipboard is sticky because it's a sticker, and I haven't done anything about the backing, so it is sticking to the glassine bag, but that's okay. Worked it out in the end, and I'm just cutting it round, just loosely. Obviously, it's a bit hard to to get it right and for some reason it just wasn't sitting properly so I I try again and then I realized I have circles there that are not obscu obscured with the the chipboard piece so that I could just cut around it and I got two pieces this time I'm just gonna slightly layer them rather than having them both together at the same position and then I'm gonna add this little piece of pattern paper for a layer. Just making sure that I double side it, tape it down so that it is, and the other thing is it covers the sticky part of the chipboard. Sorry, I needed a drink. Just going to pull off one of these pattern, this um, paper layers because it was a bit too much. So cutting down the first layer so that it's not sticking out so big and then I'm scrunching that second layer and putting it on and then I've realized and remembered that we have these wood veneer semicircles so that's going to be a nice border to the left just adding some wet glue because obviously it's a heavier than paper to add so making sure that it's added really well and yeah look at that it's so cool it's like another layer to the embellishment you know in a in the perfect way it's like it was made for that so going back to another tag really wanted to use this happy I cut the circle the hole in it so that I can get started and see what I can make so just fiddling around with the embellishments that I've got I thought maybe I wanted to write think happy and I try and I try and I try and I try but of course, it's not what is going to work. Oh, goodness, sorry. There's another yawn. I think I, this might be my last voiceover for tonight. I'm trying to catch up because I don't know if you've been keep Well, I can't say keeping up because there's not much to keep up with. But I've been trying to do the scrap timber and I've made the layouts, but I'm just struggling with doing the voiceovers and, and finishing editing for them because I have had pretty big September, of course. For some reason, August was, like, phenomenal. I had so much time to scrap. I was in, I had my mojo flowing. It was great. And then I was like, yes, cool. And then I had this brilliant idea to do scrap timber, and then it just is falling a bit flat, and I'm trying to – I try to stick to it even though it's a bit late. I'm going to continue with the, a video every day of the Baby Boy album edition of Scrap Timber and 
just be a bit late in uploading. But better late than never, I say. And the fact is that the project's getting done. Anyway, we're fiddling around. I then real seen this beautiful heart. And it's, I'm going to tiny attach it onto the label. And that is done. That's as simple as that. It just nice to have that marbled effect as a border around that that word found that little chipboard gold heart and I didn't want it to lose it I wanted to use it on something so I put it down there to make sure that I do not my day think happy but it goes together really well but then I thought oh, it's such a big embellishment because it's a tag that I don't think I would use it like I don't know what kind of photo I would print in a big format to use on a big layout, like a 12 by 12 or 8.5 by 11, you know, 9 by 12 kind of size, that would be not a great moment that I'd need to put that on there. So I do not go with it and instead go with this happy moment. And it's cute because it's nice to mix titles, but I then do realise that it needs to, to be on a pink because of the moment is of the shade of pink and yellow and then if I use this pattern paper that I ripped earlier trying to use that it goes really well as a layering piece so cutting that down and just having to try and see if I want to have the page as a tag or whether I want to cut it into more of a square just seeing if it needs some white layering these doilies that are not punched out like normal doilies, so they're a bit trickier to use. It's a good challenge, but it was, um, I guess we're used to doilies looking like doilies with cut out little pieces to make it look intricate, and these were not. God, fiddle, like, look at me. I'm just taking forever looking at it going, is this what I want? So... I realise it needs a ripped edge and I'm cutting it to make it square rather than a tag. So, of course, when you make a DIY embellishment, well, when you're making anything, but in this case, DIY embellishments, don't always stick with what you have at the beginning. This was a tag, but it didn't need to be and it looks much better as a, as a more of a rectangular kind of shaped embellishment. If you're making a layout or a project life and you have a, you know, a piece of ephemera, you don't have to use it in the intended purpose. You don't have to use Project Life cards in their intended purpose. There is just different ways to get creative and have fun and use up your stash or your kit or whatever is in front of you to create with. So I'm just going to stick down the title. As you can see, it looks really lovely. And then I decided... But maybe how am I going to stick this on a page? So sometimes when you're making, well, you should always think when you're making a DIY embellishment, how is this going to work on my type of scrapbooking? So I was trying to work out where a photo would go. And then as you can see, I grab out a photo and it's much nicer to have in a cluster at the bottom without the doily going all the way around so that it can be used on a page rather than, you know being too overwhelming and not something that will be cohesive the other thing you need to think about when you're making DIY embellishments is that you're using phrases or icons or pictures that you normally will use or you know relate so for instance if you have um, only girls and you're you scrapbook about your family and your girls and yourself you probably don't won't be using a lot of boy type layouts uh you know ephemera pieces so you know potentially making DIY embellishments that look very masculine and manly aren't going to be used and maybe you want to do it for the process and you know give them away to someone who will use them but otherwise it's better to make something you are going to use in terms of the coloring the words that you're saying you know make them generic so that they can fit on multiple layouts rather than only one out of a year and work with it that way that's how I feel when I'm making DIY embellishments that way I can actually get them onto layouts rather than sitting in my stash and not ever being used up so I'm going to make use this heart here and this sticker that says note to self with some lines as a cluster 
pretty simple. And the two one, the two I made before when I was rabbiting on about other stuff were just simple. The circle with the chipboard piece that says current mood, added a do- doodly, bur- do- doodly border. And then the other one was I added the half circle wood veneer and a gold chipboard heart with a border and called it a day. So I'm just going to add on this heart here and look at that cluster. Beautiful. Just making, outlining the hearts to make them stand out and make them pop. And that, you know, you don't have to overthink things. Sometimes the most simplest things with a bit of layering and a bit of variety work so well. Other times you want to have lots of things going on. This one here, I love this this phrase on this tag, and I really wanted to use it with my when I was embellish when I was embellishing layouts, but I never got it on there. So instead, I thought if I added it into my DIY embellishments, it might make it a bit more appealing. Well, I actually it is appealing, but I just couldn't make it work. It just wasn't working with the layouts that I made. So adding a couple of hearts, added some twine. And that's simple as that. When I go to put on the layout, if I really wanted, I could peel off some of the chipboard backing so that it's not too 3D. Could leave it on there. Could even add some fun foam if I wanted it even taller. I'm just trying to work out which heart goes up the top. It did take me a long time. I don't know why. <laughs> but sometimes you just get fixated on little things and it then, you know, goes on and on and on until you get it right and then you you know when you look about it look at it later or think about it later you're like why it those five other ones were really well and they went perfectly with it why did I have to keep changing it until I got where I wanted to be so I realized that it needed just natural twine rather than black and white because there wasn't any black and white going on in this little effect if embellishment and much better good good choice so what's next so I'm just looking at the ephemera pieces to see what what I could work this title this is everything is another piece that I wanted to use on my layouts and I tried it quite a few times and in the end this is going to um be the DIY embellishment but it goes so well I use it it's the first thing that first embellishment that I use after I create some scrapbooking after I make these embellishments well another day I don't make them the same day because these these ones did take me a little bit of time so I just got out my stays on ink I'm just rubbing the sides and I'm not being so pedantic that it's only really the 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 slightest edge I am adding a bit of the grunge and, and messy look to the front and that is it's so strike like so simple but makes such a big impact and adding a bit of twine and really that's all it needs it doesn't need much more if anything at all it just um works really well with what that big title on it it's so nice it's like um it does become my title when i use it on my layer but it's also could be just an ephemera piece it doesn't have to be the big the title of the layout at all. I did some bling because I remembered there was bling in the in the kit. So I do add some bling to some of the other embellishments as we go back and definitely as I go forward. Just try to work out what to do with this tag. It's beautiful marbled tag. I love it. So yeah, hopefully others have had a chance to play because it is fun. It's addictive. Your kids will like it if you're looking for something to do with them. And I'm just going to work with this funny story. Just cutting down my tag just to make it a little bit different rather than it being an overwhelming size. And then again, having to play with some layering behind the, the main piece of the goodness. And these are some little tickets that came in the exclusive ephemera for Kidaholic kits. And even though I try my hardest, I don't leave them there. 
Oh, goodness, another yawn. Sorry. They're getting bigger longer, too. <laughs> I'm watching, um, I don't know if anyone's watched it, but I'm watching Atypical on Netflix. And uh, the last, I watched season one last year, and the next season has just come out. I loved it so much that I actually rewatched season one. Likely it's a short season before I watch season two, just to refresh my memory and. Um, it'd been a year I did like it I did watch that season all at once in a row I had um, issues with my foot last year and I had a week off so it didn't take me long I think it's only like seven episodes in the first season so it didn't take long at all being home and having no ability to do anything because my foot meant I couldn't stand up as you can see, just having a play with all the goodness that I've got going on. And there we go. So using that wood veneer tag, making it less of a tag and more of a, a piece of ephemera. And adding the heart and the oh my god chipboard. And here I'm just going to add some some words there so that it's not just dark wood veneer. Celebrate you. So sweet. <laughs> Another dotted line border because that is the aim of the day apparently. All the dotted line borders in the world. And then just a normal straight border. And we will need to add some twine because it's a tag. So what colour twine will it be? What will it be? Oh, some bling first. You watch, I probably won't even put any twine in there now that I'm like, yep, it's a tag, it needs twine, that's what we'll do. Apparently I lost my pink bling. <laughs> Have to find that. Add some more of this yellowy colour. It's so nice how Steph matches things to the collection and the kit so well. I just, it amazes me, it goes so well. Like the colour shades and the tones and everything, like how she just, yeah, I, <laughs> just blows my mind. It's amazing. So, moving on to this label, this tab actually. Just going to put this word phrase on it, and that will be able to sit off the edge of a photo or a, a page in a travel notebook or whatever. Just like normal tabs do, just with a bit of interest, including a couple of little hearts that I cut out. There we go. So, yeah, like I said, I've said a million times already, I'm sure. You could probably make a drinking game out of it. But it's just nice to make simple ones that will effectively be used in your layouts rather than just creating for the sake of it and building more stuff into your stash that won't be used. So just cutting down this sticker that says hooray so that it fits on this label with a border rather than it being overwhelming and taking over all that marbled prettiness. And then do I decide I need this little layering piece before I stick it on? No, I don't. Mm, I was just looking going, oh, that's an awesome idea. Apparently that's not the idea I went with at all. Some pattern paper that is ripped. That is what I go for. And I'm going to glue it on just to make sure it stays until it's ready to go on the layout. So, yeah, so this is a long, long video because DIY embellishments are a little bit longer because there's a fair bit of process to making each one, even though these are pretty simple. I did make a fair amount of them. So just bordering with that piece of wood wood looking paper that is actually sewing printed on the pattern paper as a border this time. And then I'm just playing around with finding the perfect heart. I don't know why it became so hard to find the free drawn heart that goes so well with each embellishment. But apparently it was a case of mucking around and making sure what was right. So 
I'm just going to add a dotted line border again. No, another thing that seems to be my craze for the day. <laughs> and yeah, so you can see I've got a good pile of, of embellishments that are building up there on the, the side there. And then I found this gold mirrored forever word, that lovely scripty font. Good size for this tag, as you can see. And I'm trying to work out what I want to put with it and how I want it to look. And I really end up loving what I decide to make. So I'm just cutting down this glassine bag and making it ripped on both edges so that it's one big line. And I'm just going to add some tape to the tag and I am going to make a ruffled edge. Just like you do with tissue paper or crack paper. Just using the glassine bag instead because one, you get in the kit. Two, rather than putting in the recycling or the, you are better off using it. And two, it gives a lovely um, look to it in terms of uniqueness because not every, tissue paper and crepe paper don't look like that little bit of a shiny paper like this glassine bag does. So just folding it all one way. Oh, sorry, I had my Netflix paused, but I moved the the mouse on the Xbox control so that I could not make it go, not let it go to sleep. But apparently it thought I wanted it on. So I'm going to stick down this word forever. I did cut down the tag because it was pretty long and I didn't have enough glassine bag. I did remember, I did see that gold like pearl ribbon and tried it but it doesn't go on there in fact it is one of the things in the kit that I struggled with and there is a fair bit of it left and I probably should challenge myself to use it so here I'm just going to add the hole for the tag add in some twine I do believe Oh, I realised I didn't cut very well, so then I cut it again. I do believe I used some embroidery thread this time in that tag hole instead of the big chunky twine. And this offcut of the doily is the perfect size to border the top of this embellishment. So just going to glue it down and make sure it doesn't look like it is a cut-off piece, that it actually blends into the sides. Make sure my glue's not on the art sheet that I've got there. <laughs> Apparently there was a lot of it. Then what are we going to do? So not much left now in terms of showing you what I make. But definitely stay tuned for some of the, or all of the close-ups. And let me know down below if you've got any questions or comments. I love hearing from you. And thank you for watching, of course. I don't know, I don't say that often enough, but I do appreciate you watching and subscribing and liking and whatnot. It obviously helps my channel, but also is a nice feeling to know that what you create and what I put out there is watched and is liked and hopefully inspires you all and even to just do it something of your own mojo, even if you're not, you know, scrap lifting or anything like that. Just sometimes to get that little bit of a kick in the pants to get you in there creating and, and having fun. So, yeah, so just some white twine. I'm just going to cut it and we're going to call it a day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.